See the following chart for the numbers to chain for di different sizes. Double crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch of the chain. So double crochet in each stitch all the way down the chain. Okay, I've double crocheted in each stitch across the chain. The end of the row, chain two and turn. Working in the back side of the stitch only, double crochet in each stitch across the row. So, working in the back side of the stitch, double crochet in each stitch across the row. Okay, I've worked all the way across the row. At the end of the row, chain two and turn. And you're going to repeat this row for as many rows as needed to fit around the head. See the following chart for different ages. So I'm going to go ahead off camera and I'm going to make as many rows as I need. You've done as many rows as you need. Bring both ends together and slip stitch to join. When you slip stitch to join, only go through one side of the stitch. So pass through one side of the stitch, one side of that stitch, and slip stitch. Do that all the way up the tube. After you have formed the hat into a tube, chain a green cord approximately 60 stitches and we're going to pass it through this last row of stitches. Now you can pull this closed and tie it in a bow. This will be the top of the hat and it will also look like vines. And there's the finished hat. And if you want to use it as decor in your bathroom, you could also cover a toilet paper roll.